Hello everyone and welcome to my updated guide on how to install Rogue Tech. This guide has been created on the 20th of the 8th, 2018. So if you're within a few weeks of this or a month or whatever, it's probably just fine. Um, so the first thing I would say is if you have had any mods installed before of any kind, I recommend that you use my Uninstall Battletech Cleanly guide to uninstall Battletech Cleanly and then reinstall it from fresh. If you reach that step, um, then you don't need to follow this next step. So um, if you've never installed uh, any mods, but you have obviously played Battletech, the first thing that you need to do is to, and I'll just drag, if it lets me, I'll just drag Steam in here. <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is just uh, load Battletech one, to just check that it's working, this is the, the obvious thing. Um, and delete any save games, any skirmish lanch, lances that you may have. All of that stuff. Now, strictly speaking, this shouldn't be necessary, but it is a good idea. And if you later decide to uninstall Rogue Tech, I recommend that you do the same thing. You delete all the save games. Any... Um, skirmish mech bay designs that you've created uh, delete it all and get your client to a position where you haven't got any custom stuff at all so no custom lances any custom mechs which will be highlighted with a white background just make sure to go through and delete them all so you see I have a few here so I'll just delete them all Once you're done with that, just make sure to go to your campaign and delete any careers that you have. <clears throat> Obviously, if you're about to be installing Rogue Tech, you should be done with all of your vanilla stuff anyway. You just want to get your client to the cleanest possible state, just to prevent any possible errors that you might come across. Okay, so everything's gone. And I never sign in, so I'm just going to stay not signed in. If you usually sign in, then sign in and delete everything. If you don't normally sign in, then make sure you stay not signed in and you delete everything. When you're done with that, just quit the game. Okay, the second step, which I recommend, you don't have to follow through on it, is to go to the properties of your Battletech, go to updates, and just put the updates to only update this game when I launch it. The reason for that is that updates tend to break Rogue Tech and it may get fixed within a few days, it might not, who knows. Anyway, it's a huge aggro if the game has a massive update and it breaks everything. So, if you by doing this, if there is a big update, you can then put your Steam into offline mode and carry on playing your Rogue Tech without having to worry about an update coming out and breaking everything. Obviously, don't launch the game if there's an update pending. You want to go into offline mode and then launch the game to avoid the update if you're in the middle of a rogue tech campaign. Okay, so with all the basic steps out the way, we have a clean Battletech client with nothing on it. You want to go to Nexus Mods, Battletech Mods 79. Um, I will put this link in the YouTube description so that you have it but there it is anyway you want to go to the files tab and you want to download the latest rogue tech AIO which of the time of this video which it just came out today um, is patch 989 patch 3 have fun 1 apparently you're gonna need to log in obviously Uh, when you log in, this site has a very bad habit of throwing you back to the uh, home page. But if you smash the back button twice, you should be able to get back to where you were. Okay, so we can now download it and save it to the desktop. I recommend that you just save it to the desktop because then it's easier to get your work done, as it were. Right, now we just wait for it to download. Which on my optical line will not take very long although it looks like this website is uh, not that fast but we're still going at a mega second so that's not too bad 
one minute. This guide is designed to be as simple and as step-by-step -step as possible. Um, just literally for anyone who doesn't really know their way around a computer to install and enjoy Rogue Tech. So if this is all, some of this is very simple or some of it feels a little bit patronizing, it's not intended. I'm just literally going through every step, one by one, bit by bit, not missing anything, covering all the bases just to make life as easy as possible. I don't want to presume that anyone watching this is at any particular level of capability or not when it comes to uh, using a computer. Okay, we're almost there. <clears throat> it's a surprisingly slow website, Nexus Mods, um, but hey. It is what it is. It's probably hosted in America or something. You can find the manual and all sorts of other details on this uh, on this page as well, but I'm going to skip all that. We just want to get the mod installed. Okay, so we now have the mod. So we're going to right click and run it as the administrator. And you see here it is automatically detected where my Battletech installation is, which is good. However, if for whatever reason it doesn't detect it, um, if you just open up Steam and go to Battletech, and if you go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, it should show you the exact same path, which you can then insert into this box. That's just in case it doesn't detect it. There, there are a few reasons out there why it might not detect it, uh, especially if you have uh, like a RAID array or many drives or whatever, or uh, one of your drives is not registered. There are, there are a few reasons out there, but anyway, it should pick it up. But if it doesn't, that's how you find the path. And then you just paste the path in here. Plus, it's good habit to just verify that it's correct. Next, you have all of these uh, rules. I've just... Uh, put the full installation which is the standard everything well almost everything apparently clan tech optional well, we might as well have clan tech clan tanks yeah sure why not use mouse for as escape key okay that doesn't really interest me emblems probably not that interesting sound effects Eh, whatever. Okay, so this all looks like everything is pretty much done. Thought we might as well, if there's clan tech, we might as well have it. So here, this option here, choose BMTL option. If your client, if you've used my clean un uninstall guide, or you have a unmodded, never, never modded before client, which is what you should have at this point, you want to choose first time install BTML. There is an additional ops options folder here to um, clean the previous install. I don't have a previous install, so there shouldn't be any need to do any of this. And uh, this is uh, automatically removing all the save games and stuff, which I told you to do manually. I don't know. It's The automatic stuff might work, but I just prefer to do everything manually because there's just so much less to go wrong if you've gone ahead and done it yourself. So anyway... Um, I'm going to leave this ticked just because it was pre-ticked, but I don't have any mods, so it shouldn't matter. And then we just press install. Wait for the installation to complete. Okay, and it's all done. Now you can open up the articles which is back on the website that we were just at if you want to have a look at the uh, the manual and all that kind of thing. I'm going to skip that obviously and just press finish. And that should be the installation complete. So now we're going to play the game. Now it should take, the first load should take quite a while. But we're going to just record the whole process just so that you can see it end to end. So you can see here it's loading away. I have a very fast hard disk array, uh, all solid state, 
So this is probably considerably faster for me than maybe for some of you. But uh, I, I have been advised that it still takes quite a long time. So while we're waiting for this to load, if you uh, enjoyed this guide and it's helping you, I suppose I could implore you to subscribe. <laughs> uh, it was worth it. It was worth a go. Okay, so it's just loading, loading everything. Apparently, if you see this loading bar, then everything has gone correctly. So it's just a matter of waiting. Speaking of matter of waiting, I left my uh, my bottle of coke in the fridge, didn't I? So I'm going to go grab that while this is loading. Some of you screaming, it's behind me. I've just noticed that there's the bottle's actually behind me on the bed. That's okay. I have a cold one. Apparently, this is uh, loading like 5,000 files or something, so it actually takes a considerable amount of time. So just to note, if you're interested, I will be doing a hardest possible settings rogue tech campaign, which will start very, very shortly. So uh, if you're having any trouble with the game and you want to see uh, someone play it on the absolute hardest settings, then please tune in for that. I will uh, consider that campaign to be a sort of tutorial <laughs> for you guys to watch and to... Uh, to, to tag along with me on the journey of, of insanity. I'm actually not 100% sure that the game is possible on the very hardest settings. I mean, it depends on what the settings are. You know, if one of the settings is only one contract per planet, and that contract might be impossible, then uh, I'm pretty sure that it will you'll be led to financial ruin pretty quickly. But we'll see. Look at this, this is absolutely massive installation process. Now, apparently it only happens once. So once you've done this once, it's done and it's dusted. And you need not worry about it again. Once again, this may take a very long time for you, especially if you're using mechanical disks. I have a very fast hard disk array. So this is, uh, the fact that this is taking so long on my machine means potentially it could take 10, 15, 20 minutes or more on a mechanical machine. Boom! We're loaded. Now you can play Rogue Tech. Just click the new game. I recommend that you would play a standard game. Obviously I would play a custom game. And then you can just change all these settings. Whatever they happen to be. So we can have eight parts for assembly, unequipped mechs, Iron Man mode, yeah, very hard. Contracts generated, four is the lowest saying. Variants, I have no idea what this means. I guess it's variants from planet? I don't know which setting here would be harder or easier. Whether a huge variance or a low variance would actually be better or worse. I guess this is up to you. This is preferential. No variance means that every contract is going to be the exact same difficulty as the planet, I guess. And massive variance means you might see five skull, one skull, three skull, or whatever. Um, yeah, it's up to you. I guess no variance would possibly be the hardest, or... I think maybe massive variants would probably be the hardest. Set your choice of maximum difficulty difference between your generated contracts. Yeah, so. Hmm. 
deployments generated. I guess less would be harder. Contract payment, simple enough. Advanced mech warriors. This is another one where I don't know whether this would improve or reduce the difficulty. Obviously, if they come all the time, then there's more dangerous enemies to fight. However, um, that's obviously kit that you can capture. It says here in the later parts of the game as well. I guess this will be rare actually. Sorry, I misunderstood that. I thought it was the advanced uh, the advanced mechs, but that's just one of the standard ones. Commander experience points, obviously less would be harder. Ronin chance, less would be harder. Number of pilots per system, less would be harder. And you got so much stuff here. Ultra slow. Ultra slow mech warrior progression. Ultra slow everything, lethality. Hopefully this doesn't mean that ejecting is lethal as well. In the base game it just means that um, CT is lethal or getting your legs ripped off is also lethal. Starting money, obviously less will be harder. I mean you've got so many choices here. Mech base speed, very hard, would be the hardest obviously. Mech bay armor speed, very hard, self-explanatory. Everything's expensive, very hard morale, very hard payment. You can reduce the amount that the shop is going to give you for selling stuff, right down to 5%. Tiny shop inventories mean obviously less stuff to buy, and you can reduce the number of specials. So this is the absolute brutalist settings possible. As far as I'm aware. <laughs> and then what will happen is you'll have a, a lance that's randomly generated for you, which could be anything. So we're just going to get to the uh, the first uh, Argo screen just to make sure that everything's working fine, which it should be. And then that's it. I'm sure I've lost some of you already. You've, you've seen the installation procedure and you're quite happy with it. So uh, I hope that really helped you. We're just going to cover the last few little basics and then we'll call this video a day. Once again, first time loading can take a while. We'll just have to wait for it to load. <clears throat> it's taken its time. Just remember that massive progress bar from before. It can take a very long time for the game to load. Subsequent loadings should be quicker. And once again, if you've got mechanical discs, then you might be sat here for a while. Okay. Still loading. It may seem at points like it's crashed, but it, it most likely has not crashed. It's just going to take a while. And I'm just recording all of this so you can truly get a feeling for how long it takes, Audio even with solid state. Okay, so I'm just going to skip the cutscene because forget that. 
We're going to play Steiner because why not? Aye, aye. I am going to go with piloting from my playthrough. I feel like piloting is something that really benefits you in Rogue Tech compared to um, gunnery, which I would normally go for in vanilla. Oh look, so many more portraits to play with. Well, anyway. We are going to go with... Let's go with the wee mad Irishman. McFury. Fury uh, McNanny, that's an Irish name. Yes, Commander. Welcome, Commander. What can I do for you? Mail overload. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with that. I hear you. Cool, and then you just get your uh, your little introduction. And we're done. Installation is complete. We have created the hardest possible uh, playthrough to play on. One thing I recommend that you do is if you go to contracts, there is a known bug where like none of them spawn, or there's nothing that you can actually do. And I believe what you might have to do is save your game and then reload into it and it will then work. Which is a weird little problem. You can see here, look, it's lagging like crazy. Okay, let's go back to contracts. Quite a step up from the leopard, isn't Hopefully it's fixed it itself. It there we go, it's fixed Margo itself. So yeah, this this was a bug. Only a couple of contracts loaded. Now they've all loaded. So now it's working properly. And I think there is a similar bug with uh, your mech warriors. In that your lead pilot will be unselectable. Waiting for it hasn't happened to me, but it occasionally happens. Um, and it's the same thing. Just open it, close it, reopen it. Should be, should be working fine. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this gui guide. I hope you enjoy playing Rogue Tech. Um, I hope this helped you out. And uh, I will see you in the campaign.